This isn't a million dollar competition. This isn't where people get an automatic guaranteed TV contract. These are real people trying to be real wrestlers. This is where they come and train with some of the best trainers in the country. And FXC is becoming very much the number one training facility in the country. Be advised guys, this is all real. This is not gonna be produced. You're gonna see exactly what these guys go through on a daily basis to become independent wrestlers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Academy. So now what we're gonna have them do is some squats. And the best thing about this is, is when they fail. I feel like you should really make it strong because once we come back in, it's gonna, I mean, we're, we're not gonna be like out that's of like, That's a great idea. So it's funny because Nate likes to sit there and be like, well, maybe you should make us all run when we don't get it. Thanks for the bright idea, Nate. Really appreciate you. 45, 46, 47, 48. My name is Ryan Piles. Uh, I'm from here from Nashville, Tennessee, and I've been a professional wrestler for about five years, but I am a proud student of the FXC Academy. So uh, the way I found out about FXC was I have a few uh, friends here in the, the wrestling business who were kind of telling me about it, saying that there was this brand new school that was opening up here in the Nashville area. So I did some more research on it, and I thought, wow, like I would be stupid to not join this place. And uh, it's one of the, the best decisions I'd ever made for, for my career. It's time to talk about Mr. Ryan, or I like to call him JT. Recently uh, dyed his hair blonde. Definitely looks like somebody that was in the Backstreet Boys. Definitely. Except he's got a little more charisma. Uh, JT comes to us from coming from another couple of other schools. Um, He's had some prior training, like I said, and he's worked some mini matches and so forth and so on. He's, whew, he's got some moves, this kid. Uh, Ryan, uh, I've known for a short time here. He's, he's pretty new. Um, I, he, again, he comes from, um, he, he's done a lot of training in, in, other, in other schools and other places. Um, someone that picks up on stuff right away. He's always selling in his face. He's always showing whatever emotion needs for the moment and he's 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 really getting into he's dropped a lot of weight he's getting into really, really good good shape he's decided to go you know that, that's the thing about pro wrestling is you, you generally need three things which is to be able to talk to be able to wrestle you got to look a certain way and, and ryan you can wrestle um the guy's constantly working on character and i love that about him um he understands that every time you get in the ring to, do, to go through a move or to go through a drill, you gotta, you gotta think that you're in there for real. Like that it's, it's showtime, the, the lights are on and you're in the middle of a 10,000 seat arena and you're selling your ass off. And Ryan gets that, bar none. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's newer. Uh, to the school, obviously, than Alex. He wasn't one of the, the first handful. Uh, but he's been, been with us a couple months now. Uh, he's, uh, he's very much a character guy. Uh, just, you know, from what I've seen of him on, you know, just you know, watching him on YouTube and stuff, he's a, he's a guy who really kind of commits to his character. Um, but Ryan, he, something that really sets him apart and makes him different than everybody else is his character work in the ring. So 
not only, you know, if he's cutting a promo or anything like that, but he really takes that character into his ring work and the way he sells, it's 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 entertaining to watch. He's just an entertaining person to watch. My, my parents both divorced uh, when I was two years old. I've lived here in Nashville my entire life. Uh, they split up a little bit after we moved here. Uh, both, thankfully, both of my parents are very supportive of my career. They've always been supportive of the stuff that I've wanted to do, uh, even if some of it's been a little bit, you know, out of there, or at least to, you know, how a little kid explains their dreams and all that stuff. Uh, but it's, it's always been fine. I'm very thankful for the, the things that have been brought my way, the trials, the tribulations, because I feel like overall, uh, the things that I went through when I was a kid made me into a, a better human today. Ryan is also one of those guys that's not afraid to get in there with somebody else and help them. So if somebody's having a hard time with a spot, he'll get in there, work with them. Even if he has to take the shit and eat it, he will. Um, and that's one thing I love about Ryan. He's not afraid to try new things, but he's also not afraid to get in there with somebody who's brand new and help them through stuff, even if it means he's got to eat it a couple of times so they can get it correctly. You know, it takes, a, it takes a certain kind of guy to be able to do that, and Ryan's one of those guys. Um, once again, one of my favorites that's coming up here, and he's coming up fast. But baby, he learned from an old friend of mine, uh, Tyler Breeze. Actually, I think he spent some time with him. Uh, and so, so he obviously um, got some good training with, uh, with Breeze. And uh, the future is bright for Ryan. FXE, again, I see a lot of good things for him. Looking at him, do I think he's a healer or a baby face? Uh, he's probably more of a heel, you know. He's also dyed his hair blonde, so if he does bleed, um, it'll look even more spectacular with his blonde hair. But no, we're, again, all the faith in the world for Ryan. Again, another really, really good hungry kid. Um, and if you're hungry and you want it, that's all I can ask for. He's got all the tools to be, to be a huge hit. Um, he knows how to work in the ring. He gets along so well behind the scenes with everybody. Uh, incredibly passionate about pro wrestling and about doing his absolute best to get that heat or to, you know, pull in that, that crowd uh, to, to make them care, make them believe. I think he can go very far just based on some ideas that we have for him um, to be determined. He had dyed his hair. He had changed the way he was dressing, kind of the way he was carrying himself. Uh, and he, you know, he was already just after that one conversation, starting to commit to this character. Uh, and it's not far off from the character he's been playing uh, on local independent shows, but it was different enough uh, that he, you know, he felt compelled to go out and, and change his look to match it. Places like here, like FXE, uh, you know, the best of this business is when so many people with the same dream, the same passion come together and there's no ego, there's no politics, there's none of that BS. It's all people who are wanting to support each other. They wanna, they wanna bring the best out of you. And so one of the things that keeps me passionate about this business are people like that, that want to see you succeed. They wanna see you get better. And uh, that's what makes me passionate about this. With Ryan, everything has a purpose of why it was done. And you don't get that with a lot of guys. And that's something that these guys all gotta get. Um, once again, and, and it doesn't matter. He can, you know, fail at something and, you know, we correct him on it. Once again, he's one of those guys that takes criticism like there is no tomorrow. Ryan's going to be one of those guys that I know for a fact it's going to captivate a lot of people once he kind of gets a little more things fine-tuned. So it's definitely going to want to make sure you guys stay tuned and watch him come, you know, come further along with us here because I know for a fact he's going to be one of those guys that people are going to be paying a lot of attention to in the future. Of course, he's still he's still learning, but he's picked up a lot of stuff on his short journey in the places that he's been. He's getting himself into really good good shape at the gym, so he's he's you know he's um, he's gun ho on on turning himself into something uh, professional. Watch just because that's selling, and he makes it so real that if, if someone's at a show and they're talking to their friends, you might hear something he's doing, and boom, you're gonna watch. So, Ryan, good for you, good for you, bud. You know, every milestone that any of us hits, we, we celebrate that. And Ryan's certainly um, worthy of celebration in that regard because he's done really well to, you know, get himself into that fighting shape and ready to and ready to go. That level of commitment from a guy who's, 
you know, a couple months into training with us, you know, to have that level of trust in us on, uh, you know, on, on the creative side and FXE uh, as an academy uh, kind of speaks a lot to his character, that this is a guy who knew what he was getting into and is overly enthusiastic about it. And I think that's great. Hi, I'm Jerry Lynn, professional wrestler. Now, I don't have two words for you, but I got two questions. One, is it your dream to become a professional wrestler? <laughs> two, are you already a pro wrestler but want to fine tune your skills? Yeah, but I <laughs> Then come on down to FXE Wrestling Academy. Yeah. You'll be glad you did. Right, boys? <laughs> <laughs>
selfishly because if I need to practice anything, Alex always lets me practice on him. He is like the bump dummy of the school. He's just young and ready to take bumps. So he's just ready to get in there and hurt himself and hurt his body for the betterment of himself and the entire school. So that's what I love about Alex. outside and throwing up. <laughs> and I'm not sure if AJ said this already, but it's actually a funny story when I first met AJ. Literally when I first met him, I, I went up to his office, I shook his hand of course, said, I introduced myself, and I said, what's your story? What's my deal, huh? So bo and behold, I'm living the dream, I'm doing what I love, and that's all I ever wanted to do. It's, it's, all, it's all I ever wanted to do. I put so much work and effort into it, I'm going to give him my all. Um, he's one of those guys. He's a, got a job outside of here that has crazy hours. So, you know, he'll work, you know, 12, 13-hour shifts and then come here and train for another three hours. Guy's got some dedication. And uh, with his new character and everything that he's got coming up, I think you guys are going to be kind of pleased. Um, I know we're real excited for him here. So in the future, make sure you guys look out for Alex because he's going to be definitely somebody that's going to be, well, you know, watch. Very, very entertaining, um, high flying, if you want to put it as a high flyer. Um, he kind of wraps everything all into one. So like I said, as, uh, as we go further on with his career, I think it's something you guys are definitely going to want to follow for Alex. He's super, super talented. He can fly around. He, he, Alex picks up stuff really quick and he doesn't get butt hurt if, if it doesn't work out right away. Um, you know, another, another guy that I see massive things for is... Um, He's someone that I, I would love to watch on shows. He's someone that if I was running shows, I'd want him on. Um, he's just a moldable, young, um, fun, good-looking kid. And um, I have all the faith in the world with Alex. I mean, um, I feel like he should be getting opportunities. I think Alex has the potential to do incredible things in professional wrestling. Um, he's got a spirit and a heart that is kind of unteachable. It's like every wrestler is motivated to be a great professional wrestler. One thing I love about Alex is that I feel like he's motivated to go that extra mile and not just say, I wanna be a great professional wrestler, but say, I wanna inspire the next generation or I wanna put smiles on faces. And thinking about it from that perspective is not something everybody here at FXE does, but Alex definitely has that motivation. And I think that attitude is going to take him to places a lot of other people may not see. It looks like it matters when Alex is in the ring. Uh, he's, he's maybe the best seller in the class uh, in terms of like, there are times when I see him take a move and I legitimately wonder if he's hurt, but nope, he's just that good. And uh, he is, he's, he's just that good. And, uh, and I'm, I'm excited for us to start actually doing shows so you can see uh, just how good he is. Hey man, I shaved. <laughs> that was pretty hard. Do <laughs> you your back? Oh, it's just sore. Yeah. You know how it is doing this, Allah. We get sore, we get safe. Right, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, Alex's future at the Academy is very bright because, you know, Alex, he had prior training coming into this, but it was also by Tom. So he's been taught by Tom, I'm pretty sure, his entire career. So he has a certain way of going about things. And I think that's why his intensity is there, because uh, that's something that Tom really, you know, beats into the kids is intensity, intensity, intensity. And so, you know, Alex, obviously, he's not the biggest guy in the world, but I think he does make up for it through that intensity. And he's just so willing to learn. I think that's something that Alex really has going for him. He's always 
you know, he's not afraid to ask a question, and he, when we have critiques for him, he, he really takes it in and learns. Some of the best moments here in wrestling. Like, I've had training uh, in other places prior to this, but I can say FXC is the best wrestling academy out here in the country. Like, I've learned so much in these past few months. I met new friends, new people that I've connected with. And this has always been a dream of mine to become a professional wrestler since I was a little kid. I grew up watching Rey Mysterio a lot. One, because, of course, he's my fellow paisano, his fellow Hispanic. And also, he was small. So, uh, seeing a guy that small and to make it big motivated me to tell myself, you know what, I think I may be able to do this too. So, bo and behold, I'm living the dream. I'm doing what I love. And that's all I ever wanted to do. It's, it's, all, it's all I ever wanted to do. And now I wonder if I could fly into the sky. Could you say time will pass me by? Cause you know I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just see you. Tonight. Tonight. Scissor me. Scissor me. Scissor me. <laughs>